Okay, so the next thing, the reason I took off them side pieces because well, I need to take, I just needed to take them off anyway, but um, I need to take this piece off right here, which is the, the back piece. Um, I think this piece right here and this piece right here are attached. Um, got it. Got a lot. I got some of the screws out already. There's a couple of screws right here, and uh, there's a couple of screws on the other side. I just I had stopped stopped trying to take it out when I seen I couldn't get it. I need to take off this piece right here, which holds the uh, holds the uh, uh, shit. Uh, what do you call that damn engine cover thing? It's got a name, but anyway. It holds the engine cover. Uh, let me go grab my drill. There's a screw. You know how this light, this light right here, it goes into that uh, little thing over there. Anyway, the piece that holds it, uh, see that, right here, there's a screw right here. Okay, I ended up having to take these two out too because I couldn't get um I couldn't get it out without taking these two out. Okay, I took the one out that was uh under there, there was one from the bottom. I took that one out, and now I'm doing these two, which is exactly just across from what I just did. And uh, on that side, it just came right out. Once I got this little piece out, or, or off, I should say, the rest just kind of just came right out real easy. And I'm real glad, too, because this is going to make some really nice templates, because I didn't have to break nothing. It all just kind of came out, so I'm happy about that. I need to put the camera down, man, because this one-handed turning is not the business. Okay, so once you take off the side pieces, okay, and there's some screws in the corner down the, down below. There's this screw right here, which comes from the bottom. You got to get this screw out right there from the bottom, uh, from underneath. Uh, what else? You got to take these blocks off. Unscrew these blocks. where they go? Unscrew those blocks. And, uh, get that corner bottom. And then, uh, you got another corner right there. And then, pretty much, this piece right here is going to come out. 
Okay, this, this is just really for me, for when I put this stuff back. I think this piece right here was the throttle. It was a throttle cable. Either the throttle cable or the shift cable. Um, no, this one, this one is the shift cable. I think this one is the throttle cable. But anyway, I got to remember that this was zip tied to that. I don't know how important that was, but just for my own mental note. Okay, so the next thing up is these boxes. And I think what I'm going to do... I think what I'm gonna do with the boxes is I'm gonna cut I'm gonna get as close as I can to here in hopes to try to like save it uh, save this piece as a template um, try to keep it intact as much as I can um, I'm gonna get as close as I can right here down there you know down here and uh, I'm going to take a few measurements, and then I'm going to go for it, man. I got to snag these batteries out of there. And um, maybe try to prop that battery switch up on something, or just, or just, just could take it out of that little box, and I'm going to make a nice one. Make a nice uh, thing for it. Um, yeah. Okay. Let me, let me get these batteries. Let me snag these batteries out of here, and... And get busy real quick. Let me see what time it is. Damn, it's already 11.20. I got to be at work at 3. Uh, maybe I get one side done. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. I don't think that box, I'm going to leave that box in there for now. I don't, I don't think it's going to be in the way. The main thing is that this piece, this piece comes out in one piece so I can use it as a template. That's my main concern. Okay, I don't feel like writing this down, so. This bottom part is right there. The top part from there to there. Okay, from the bottom of the transom, it's there. From the top, it's there. Okay, the height is there. And then from the height from the tallest part of the hole, there. This is from the tallest part of the hole. Because it's got a little up and over, a little round piece. It goes up and then down to the hole. So, there. From the hole out to the box, there. Okay, that should do it. You see my blade is turned that way. I want it turned this way. And don't 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 be scared to get close to the hole. As long as you can see what you yeah. You know, don't, don't shoot unless you see your target. <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened to the camera, but what I just did, I was recording. But what I did is I, I notched out this piece right here cut it down along here. It's a little bit higher inside because I think they put an extra piece because it's the battery. The batteries are in here and I think they needed something to screw the uh, screw the battery tray into. So that's why it's, it's higher on the inside than on the outside. I could I could have got a lot closer than that. Um, I went all the way down to the transom. Now I'm, I'm fitting a bit of blade so I can go from here to here. 
And what I was saying is don't be scared to get close to the hole as long as you can see see what you're doing. I notched out a little piece right here so I could look at the blade as I went down. Battery's going dead. It's, I gotta get ready to go to work anyway. Let me see if I can take a couple whacks with this floor though. I know I should score it before I start banging on it. So I just wanna see. Maybe it's soft enough just to just pop up. Continue my cut. Continue my cut as far as I can and then then pop this out. the standard procedure. I just want to see what it looks like before I go.
that's not that's not the standard procedure. I just want to see what it looks like before I go. One more thing before I go. This piece right, these two pieces right here were, um, see they're beveled, the edge is taken off, and these two pieces were, um, on the sides of my, um, ski locker. That's where they came from. I don't know, man, they don't exactly look stock. I don't know, what, what do you guys think? Do you, do you guys think that this would be stock because it's not... It's not like in uh in in keeping with the rest how the rest of the boat is, I don't think. Um of course I'd have to finish taking out some more to really know, but anyway, let me know what you think. There's the bottom of it. I just don't know if this piece would be stocked because it's, I mean, it's, the edge is not even like, like milled on a machine. It looks like somebody just, I don't know. Okay, thanks. Let me know.